guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the test server and we all know within the tavern that Dolly likes to keep us well informed of what is up and coming with AFK Arena. So looking at Reddit, looking at Discord, looking at a lot of different sources, we're going to go ahead and look at what is up and coming in AFK Arena so we can kind of plan and prepare what's with what is going on. So let's go ahead and we'll get into it. All right, so the first one is a new hero. So this is just a snapshot of what it's going to look like. Explosive dynamite, fatal fireworks coming soon. Just looking at the description, the, the picture doesn't really tell too much, but I am assuming a Mauler class. We haven't had a Mauler class in a significant amount of time. So I believe this is going to be a Mauler. So on my Mauler account right now, we're gonna start saving all of our diamonds so we can pick up the new hero when she comes out as we start getting resources to build out this new hero. Another big change that is coming, if you look at this little snapshot, which is in Chinese, um, with a new battlefield effect. So since AFK Arena has started, we've had the factional advantages, meaning that if you're running three, four, or five of the same faction heroes, you would get a bonus. The Hypogen heroes had a bonus. The Celestial heroes were worked into the factions themselves. But this looks like it is going to be reworked, guys. That is going to be a change. And there's a translation. And a big shout out to JD Cool for the translation. Um, so looking here at the pictures in the top and then the translation of what this actually says. Um, for every might hero you have in your team, given all teammates the ability, for the first time their HP falls below 50%, it raises attack rating by 8%, can be stacked up to five times. That is right, guys. So at the beginning of battle, if all five heroes drop below 50%, it's going to stack a massive attack rating boost stacking it five times for five seconds. So I know it is very short, but this will provide a lot more damage for the might heroes that we have. Number two, for every tank hero in the formation, give all the heroes the ability when HP blows, falls below 50% for the first time, creates a shield worth 250% of the hero's attack and can be stacked up to 1250 last five seconds, which again, giving a shield on top of everything else we have from the Elder Tree, all the abilities that the heroes use, including the artifacts, seems like it's going to be really strong. We need something within this tanking class itself, within number two, to make the tanks viable. That's a really big thing that I focused on before. We need some sort of damage mitigation or something even within the Elder Tree to allow the tanks the ability to tank. Once you start getting into late game, when you start getting into end game, um, the only tanks that can really live are Scrag and Arthur due to the massive damage mitigation they have. Some of the other ones do have some crowd control like Orthos, but they need the mitigation to survive when you start getting into level deficiencies. Number three, for every Celestial in your formation, give all heroes the ability. If a hero are above 80% HP, they gain 10% haste, can be stacked up to 50 haste. So when you enter battle, you are going to have a 50 haste buff when your celestial hero or your um celerity heroes are in formation. So if all heroes are above 80%, so that's pretty strong because if some of the heroes fall below 80%, it is going to nullify this effect. But when you look at heroes like Taylene, this could really give her a lot of viability with the celerity heroes just because she can keep a majority of the heroes alive. But remember, she does have to stay over 80% as well. So I'm not sure if this is something that's going to be put in anytime soon, if this is something they're just playing around with. But once we see it on the test server, guys, we know that it will be kind of up and coming. And the fourth one, for every Sork in your formation, give all the heroes the ability, give all heroes 80 energy the first time they alt, which again, would be very strong. Similar to what they already have with the artifact, you can give some bonus energy the first time they ult, so giving them a boost in damage. I would like to see haste in the sort class, but ultimately, if it's just going to be energy, that is what it is. And then for substance, so for the support, for every substance in the formation, give all heroes the ability, increase the survivability, and that is where the message is actually cut off. Um, from what we have so that is the end of what i've seen of the message is increases the survivability so i'm not sure if that's going to be a shield i'm not sure what that is going to be for the final one down there but again it would be very cool not sure if they're going to build these into the elder tree if they're just going to add it into the dynamic my thought was 
this could be something that is going to replace the faction bonuses that we're currently getting. I'm not sure if that's going to make a difference if they're going to adjust those because we have never seen a change with those faction abilities. They have never changed since AFK Arena has been out. So that, again, we're going to have to kind of wait and see exactly what's going on with this and exactly what it's going to look like when it comes out for AFK Arena. So the final thing we look at, and this was a question that I that I believe came up on Discord um, or through chat, how much will Merlin be in the Challenger shop? Right here, guys. That is right. Merlin limited time exchange event has ended. Players that do not possess Merlin may still proceed to the Challenger store completing stage after completing stage 920. He will be in the um he will be in the store to pick up with gladiator coins. So 250,000 gladiator coins can be exchanged for 15 of Merlin soul stones. So same thing that we have in the labyrinth store with Arthur, you're going to have to accumulate your gladiator coins. 1 million gladiator coins is going to allow you to build or buy Arthur or excuse me Merlin if you don't want to build them themselves. So I believe this is in Facebook and that's Belinda. A lot of you know that you can message Belinda um, on Facebook if you have a certain VIP level with issues in the game or specific questions in the game, which is very cool to see. So we are going to be able to buy him. A lot of players were saying that they were going to put him in the Labyrinth store, which obviously that is not the case. They are actually going to put him in the, the, Gladi or the Challenger store for the 250,000 Gladiator coins. So when it comes to the store, he is going to be the biggest priority, in my opinion, just because of the sport aspect that he brings. So the big thing with him is once you buy him four times, you're going to have him, you're going to have him unlocked, you can build him, you are going to have him permanently. When you look at the other heroes, unlocking them four times or getting four copies of them with the exact same amount of challenger stones would bring you to a legendary hero. But Merlin, you can have unlocked, you can have him at five stars, you can have him fully maxed out with the same amount to take one of the other heroes to the legendary. So now it's going to look like with the challenger store. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. All right, so within the challenger store, we can see right now we have Athelia, we have Aziz, we have Orthos, and we have Zolrath. So the priority once he is introduced, but remember, that is 60 days down the road, guys. But you might want to go ahead and bank your 250 thousand um, challenger tokens that way when he is released or when the event expires you can go ahead and pick up your first copy of him if you're not getting him out of here big thing is if you're not playing right now or for newer players that fall short of being able to exchange for him you can still get him out of the shop and there's not going to be any time constraint similar to what we've seen here with arthur is there is no time constraint we can actually pick him up whenever we want to to accumulate his soul stones to go ahead and build Merlin in here. So now that changes the priority to the challenger store. Number one is going to be Merlin because again, four purchases, he is going to be done. You are gonna have the hero completely maxed out. Second, of course, is going to be Aziz. Aziz is a really big priority just because of the energy regeneration, the attack rating reduction, as well as locking out ultimate abilities and crowd control. Still a very strong hero used in a lot of Twisted Realm battles as well. Followed by, I'm going to go Zolrath. If you guys have been doing the Battle of Blood, Zolrath is absolute monster when it comes to the Battle of Blood. Um, he's been doing really well within there. Probably Zolrath and then Athelia would probably be a choice. Orthos, again, seeing what they're going to do with tanks is really going to either, either be good or bad to see exactly how well the tanks do. But that is my priority coming to the Challenger store when it comes to adding Merlin in there. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.